Hello everybody and welcome to another severe weather update. So we're going to be seeing three days of widespread severe weather from Texas all the way through the southeast. Looking at today's severe weather threat, the Storm Prediction Center has issued an enhanced risk for severe weather across north central northeast Texas, southern Arkansas, central and northern Louisiana, central western Mississippi in the orange, a slight risk in the yellow, and a marginal risk in the green. And looking at today's tornado threat, uh, we have a pretty uh, low to moderate threat today with a 5% chance of tornadoes touching down within 25 miles of a location if you live in the brown areas and a 2% chance if you live in the green areas. For wind, wind damaging straight line winds are going to be the primary threat today where the Storm Prediction Center has issued a 30% chance of seeing damaging straight line winds of 58 miles per hour or stronger within 25 miles of a location if you live in the red regions. And if you live in the black hatched area, you have a 10% chance or greater of seeing 75 mile per hour or hurricane force wind gusts within 25 miles of your location. So uh, dam damaging straight line winds are gonna be pretty widespread across Northeast Texas Louisiana, western Mississippi, and southern Arkansas today. There's a 15% chance of damaging winds in the yellow and a 5% chance in the brown. There's also a 15% chance of quarter-sized hail or larger in the yellow within 25 miles of a location, 5% chance in the brown. And we do have an area of significant hail probabilities where there's a 10% chance that you will see hail of two inch or larger in diameter within 25 miles of a location if you live in this black hatched area. So uh, timing out the event, we're going to be seeing our storms initiate sometime around uh, three or four o'clock in the afternoon across northwest Texas. And as we head through about seven, the storms are gonna intensify across uh, northwest Texas, southern Oklahoma. And uh, the HRRR model is developing a couple of isolated supercells across uh, southwest and west central Texas by uh, about 8 p.m. So these could be producing some very large hail if we get these isolated supercells to develop across the hill country. And then as we head into the overnight around 11 p.m. the storms are going to congeal into a big squall line, big mesoscale convective system across North Texas, where this will uh, evolve into a damaging wind threat. We could be seeing uh, very strong winds across Dallas, DFW, up towards Greenville, uh, Texarkana. And as we go through the night and into the morning, the line is going to surge southeast across southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana, pushing through about Alexandria, Louisiana by 4 a.m. And then it's going to rapidly push south and east as we head into, the, by the time you're waking up Tuesday morning, we're going to be seeing the line push all the way from east Texas through south, south central Louisiana into central and southwestern Mississippi. All this area could be seeing strong damaging straight line winds and then through about 8 9 a.m. the storm the line is going to push down towards the Gulf Coast and even into about 12 p.m. it's going to start to push offshore but every the entire period you see this line we're going to be seeing strong damaging winds with it and this goes through uh, about Tuesday the noon period and going into Tuesday we do have an enhanced risk of severe weather across uh, areas from Mississippi through South Carolina in the orange a slight risk in the yellow marginal risk in the green and the tornado threat increases to 10 percent within 25 miles of a location in the yellow region for Tuesday uh, across central southern Alabama uh, central and southwestern Georgia a large 5% chance in the brown, 2% chance in the green. So tornadoes could be bigger threat tomorrow than today. 
damaging winds still have that 30% chance across the enhanced zone in the red, 15 in the yellow, 5 in the brown, and then hail. It's going to be a little lower, 15% chance in the yellow, 5% chance in the brown. And unfortunately after that, even into Wednesday, we're going to have another storm system dive down from the northern plains and swing across the Midwest. And this is going to create yet another potential severe weather outbreak on Wednesday, where the Storm Prediction Center has already issued an enhanced risk across portions of Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Tennessee, and a huge slight risk covering most of the southeast and parts of the mid-Atlantic and an even larger marginal risk in the dark green. And we got a 30% chance of severe weather within 25 miles of a location in the enhanced risk, a 15% chance in the slight, and a 5% chance in the marginal for Wednesday. And even into Thursday, we have a, we're hanging on to a slight risk across the Atlantic coast from South Carolina through the Delmarva. So we're going to be seeing four days in a row of significant severe weather. Anyway, thanks for watching my severe weather update. If any warnings are issued, make sure to seek shelter. Thanks for watching and stay safe, my friends.